What's up guys, it's Alex, and today I've got a pretty cool video for you guys. So a couple days back, me and my buddy Ben Nowak did a live stream over on his channel, and it was the first in our like series of live streams where we're going to discuss different topics about fishing. Well, we did that live stream. It was really fun. I'll make sure to link it down below so you guys can go check it out if you have not. There's some really good dialogue back and forth about the topics that we discussed. But then towards the end, after we got done discussing those topics, Ben asked me a question that got me thinking. He was like, what are you most excited about for fishing? fishing in 2018 or what's something that you want to get better at and I really got to thinking you know what are some things that I want to get better at what are some things that I experimented with last year and didn't really get to find the full potential of what it could be and so I've picked out two baits and then a technique that I feel like this year I want to take I want to run with and I want to figure out to the fullest potential what it can do in bass fishing and hopefully get a lot better at it so let's get in today's video and we'll start with the first one and probably the primary one that I want to get better at and that is open water frog fishing. So, you know, I love to fish a frog. It's one of my favorite ways to catch fish. Um, I love fishing, you know, like spro, just grass frogs. I love fishing the walking frogs. I just love frog fishing. And something I want to get a lot better at this year is open water frog fishing. So pretty much what that means is anywhere you'd fish a spook or a popper or a buzz bait or a whopper plopper out in open water, not around grass, I want to learn how to fish a frog and be really good at it. I think this is a technique, especially like in the dead of summer um, when you're fishing around those willow trees fishing in the shade around boat docks around lay downs and like where the brush hangs over the water you know you can't really skip a spook i mean you know you could but a lot of times you're going to get it tangled up you're going to get hung in a tree or something like that but with a frog you're going with a really weedless presentation and it's really easy to skip and so i feel like it's something that would be a very effective bait in those areas where you're getting a topwater bite but you can't get traditional topwaters. So that's something I really want to get better at. And towards uh, the end of the fall this year, we got on a really good frog bite. You guys saw all those videos. A lot of the bigger frog bites I got were really in open water. I'd fish it to the edge of the grass and then fish it, you know, a couple few three feet out, and that's when I would get the bite. And you know, I thought to myself, this is something that I don't do a lot. Something that I can't say that I'm confident to be able to go to another lake and repeat. Um, and so it's something. And I think I need to get better at. So open water frog fishing is a big one. I think it'll be a key for catching bass that not very many people target. Um, so open water frog fishing is something I am really looking forward to getting better at this year. Now the next thing is something that I actually caught quite a few fish on. Was a you know a really kind of confidence bait for me towards the middle of the summer, the hottest part of the summer, and that is the Whopper Plopper. And the reason I'm adding this one to the list, and a lot of you guys mentioned what about the Whopper Plopper on the base that got it done for me this year, and the, really the reason I didn't add the Whopper Plopper to that list is because I didn't have all the confidence that I could have in it. You know, and I was still trying to figure out rod and reel setups to throw it on. I was really still just trying to figure out the technique, where it's best to use. And to tell you the truth, guys, I'm not really sure still where all the whopper plopper can be effective and it really seems like one of those baits that it can be effective about anywhere um so this year i want to branch out i've only fished the 130 size and the 190 size a little bit for like striper was the 190 size one i also bought it for some musky but apparently you can catch some giant bass on the 190 but i want to branch out um go from the 130 that's what i fished all this year that was primarily the only size that i fished and that's just because the one that was catching me a lot of fish. But I want to go down to the 110 and the 90 size both. Really figure this bait out. Really get keyed in on what it's about, where it can be used, where it's the most effective. Um, because this thing just straight up catches fish. I mean, you guys saw it this year. I had a bunch of videos where I would go out with the Whopper Plopper. And literally all day long, whether the sun was out, the sun was in, it didn't matter. Those fish were eating the Whopper Plopper. And I had a ton of fun with it this year. But I still feel like that I could learn a lot more about it and get a lot better than I am with it right now. Um, so the Whopper Plopper is another one on that list. And now the last bait or technique, it's really a technique in itself, and it's made up of a few baits, is wake baits. Um, I'm just not really sure about the wake baits either. It's kind of like the Whopper Plopper. I caught a lot of fish using the wake bait this year. Um, caught a couple really good bass. Really used it primarily for hybrids and striper when I got on that bite. 
um, but I feel like it's something that could be super effective on catching some really big bass. And the one that got the most work done for me this year was this one. This is the Jackal uh, Chan Wake, and it come out last year, uh, if I'm not mistaken, at the Bassmasters Classic. And all this is is a wake bait with a prop on the back, and then it also has some rattles in it as well. So it makes just all kinds of noise. I mean, it's squeaking and popping and waking um, right under the surface. And that's really what a wake bait is for you guys that don't know. Um, it's got this little bill on it and it's kind of like a square bill on a square bill crankbait. But what it does is it just puts it right under the water surface and just creates a wake, kind of like the BBZ1 rat. And that's another bait that I'm gonna add to this arsenal and really try to figure out the whole wake bait genre and where it's best used. Um, I also picked up the iLoud um, this year, or no, the iJack. This is the iJack, the iLoud has the prop. This again, the same kind of deal. You reel it slowly right under the surface. You got a really loud knocker in it. And then I also picked up a gong and I'm gonna pick up one of the smaller size BBZ1 rats. And again, this one doesn't have any rattles, but it has this big loud blade on the back that pops back and forth and makes that loud sound. And really with the wake baits, that kind of seems to be their deal, is they're loud, they're big, they're intrusive, they make a lot of noise, just like the Whopper Plopper does. Um, but you know, it's one of those things I really couldn't interchange the two. I thought, well maybe if I tie on the Chan wake, and throw it the same places I'm throwing the Whopper Popper, I'm gonna get bites, but I never did. So I really wanna figure out the niche um, when it comes to the wake baits, especially this Chan Wake, and especially like the BBZ1 Rat and this iJack. I really wanna figure out where those are best used at and become a lot more confident in that bait as well. And really confident in all of these baits. So what I want you guys to do is go down in the comment section, leave me a comment of three baits or a bait or a list of baits. It doesn't matter. Just leave me a bait that you guys want to get better at using this year. You want to get more confident with, and you guys want to go out and figure out how to catch some big bass on. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Any questions or go comments, go leave them in the comment section down below. Obviously, you guys are going to have a comment. That was kind of stupid. If you're new to my channel, make sure and hit that subscribe button. Go check out some more of my videos. Make sure to go hit all the links in the description. I'll have links to all the baits that I I had uh, laying out here and that I showed you in today's video. You guys can go check them out. You can also go check out some of my sponsors, Lucky Tackle Box. I've also got coupon codes for Lucky Tackle Box, $5 off your first box. All that kind of stuff is down in the description. But as always, you guys are sweet. Thank you for watching. Always with you, what cannot be done. Hear you nothing that I say. You must unlearn what you have learned. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try.